Hi guys, it's me, just Lewison again. And in this video, take you to the Halloween season of 2023. I would like to talk about a very specific topic from the, the land of the rising sun, that being pain. And more specifically than that, Japanese demons, because, well, demons from that part of the world are fucked up, and you all know it. Because, um, they're showing, like, things that are meant to children, like anime, and, and manga, and stuff like that. More specifically, I will be talking about the demons that are portrayed through Inuyasha, Pokemon, Demon Slayer. I'll be comparing them to say uh, something like the monotheist religion that depicts the demons as well as the like, the soul eater and um you know we'll be doing this book this book has for my uh resources for that. So um we go. Now I do tell you that I, I am a Christian. I'm used to talking about when we were talking about like demons and bad things from the Bible and so on and so forth. I can think of things like my friend friends are playing here or say uh, they go over there. They're more humanoid. They're more of a like um you know, more like human being things. They more they could be giant. Or they could be like a like a genie, genie from the Aladdin movie, which is it, the uh, Jimmy is on um, the genies, the Jimmy most family friendly and all genies. But um, they basically just like the dust doubles with magical qualities to them. Maybe you should be able to the movie. Humanoid evil spirits. So, there's that. Also, you know, we'll start when we start to be in the sun of the earth, a punishment for find God. So, you know, so he's um, pretty much a um, human, a human, you would need to know that. The three heads on you, but so. And also, in, in the Quran, I'm reading some funsies. They make reference to the Satan, the Satan, the adversaries of God, and all the, the good. So, this that little quandary. You know, I thought there was one Satan, but just the two or three. Like in the game, game close and goblins. You know, we always associate with the zombie, the evil spirit, or say, uh, possession, the evil spirit, like Pazuzu, and so on. But, um, with Japanese manga and, and, um, mythology, they have some really interesting fucked up uh demon Now I wouldn't count Soul Eater for this because most of the demons that are presented in, in there are mostly uh humanoid or human like they come from like the Western mythology like a the witches, like the Blair and, uh, you know, the Blair Witch Project, and, uh, even, even Snake Army, even though he's 
going by that name Jimmy Diamond still a Grim Reaper from European mythology with the sight and with um the skull the skull face and all that. Much like Grim Defense of the Mandy. And uh also well it's also um referencing it to the soul. And it it reference to um uh the butcher um we got um in the first episode there was um Jack, Jack the Ripper as uh, Jack the Ripper. So if he's in London a Western uh Christian so, and that's what I wouldn't count that. But what I will count is the Avatar monster called the Face Stealer, which is basically a centipede type creature with a giant eye for a face. And it is two faces of both the soul motion to him. Or her, or it. it. Now, I'm. Pretty sure that that's not like a specific duty to any Eastern religion or whatnot. I'm supposed to have anyway because Avatar, the various cultures in Avatar are based on uh, real life Eastern religions and societies. So I'm going to it for that. If, if it isn't, it's going to be one of the very few instances where it's not from a culture like that. But, um, there's also... <coughs> it's a quick call for hours on this topic. But, um, since I don't really have too much... So, so you don't really have too much to make a lot of things that within so either uh, Demon Slayer, I mean, Pokemon, and, uh, Inuyasha. Who's the cover Inuyasha? It's quite obvious that it's a show to anime with me. <laughs> hey! Well, the main character has to try to beat demons using the, um, the giant sword voice from his father's dog with Fang. And uh, the thing, the dog demon concept is a unique to me, I said, so I don't think that that's a very popular type of um of a, um, you know, demon type in, uh, in society in, in there. The cool thing you'll get is a, the, the Kitsune from uh, Japanese mythology. And that, that's most famous in the uh, Pokemon Bo- Bo- universe as well as the Naruto universe. Uh, I'm not, not going to get that. It's just, I'm not into that show at all. I'm going to the demons in my job film and I'm going to the bottom of Dragon Ball Z too. And that gentrification of the only man I got it like too. So, um, <coughs> with, with um, the Indian show, you see a bunch of demons that merge together and some really powerful and they divide from each other and they are uh, uh, somewhat powerful like um Kagra because they get wind and things and stuff and create air blasts and so they can hurt and kill our villain uh, to kill our um, heroes and whatnot. So there's that. And then there's um the 
creatures and they were a mantis in the summer too that was like a devil uh, demon version of it and since you can actually uh, make them more powerful among other things so they got some pretty sort of um mythology that they different from our own mythology it's easy to even believe in that stuff. The jump. Um, you are too kind of. The little bodies, the little ability that comes up. And you just cause havoc. They, they even have um, demon players. Which I don't know if it's a real thing or not. But um, the, the, in, the, in the show it is. And then you got really quite anything you thought you could to keep me and things like that. So this that. <clears throat> and then you got the um Dream Ball Z which has both the ball is both from Western um the Western um the Marky with um, demons and devil and then you got the more um identified more business like uh each and demon or only and gardeners cinema etc etc and it's a bio so for infant losers but then on top of that you got you got um, the devil, the playing the devil, like you know, like hell devil. And you got the bowler, which is a lot more powerful than the devil. You can turn things to stone with a spit, you can put the fire, you can, uh, you can make a bleed some sort out of uh, nothing. He's a very young, ominous guy. Looks like Satan was the devil. I don't, I don't think they relate to you two so I bet it's weird that way. Anyway, those people are more combat combatants than they are. Okay. They're e too evil. In fact, one guy even has the devil by the green with and expand even hot and make it go boom boom. So, <clears throat> next thing, Sailor Moon. Now, even though it's not called gaming, it is still pretty yeah, demonic. The, uh, the demon, the demon that, uh, some by uh, Queen Bell and her crew. The psychology, the vampires, and um, they, they do it quite, quite really, and they are teaching at it too. Like, um, the vampil, vampil, whatever it name is, vampire, and, um, uh, and like a flower petal. I guess is that and uh, also um, he also looks like human beings too they, they all look like human beings could be more or less and there's a spider spider um, characters like the two on the show which someone took it easily as time goes on but now we're going into the Demon Slayer, which some of the designs are very close up and really cool too. So you have the ghost, which took a very nice one. Then you have the more athletic character, where you have the girl demon with like multiple arms that uses the to attack with. And that's 
to put up think of the that weird guy with the massive arms that remind me of um the guy from um inside the game inside and just eat eat people and bodies and stuff and get larger and more complex complex. But yeah, I forgot about Game Zero. I'll get into it in a little bit too. I didn't think of it. But there's also the Spire Painted, the two mother Spire Humanoid, and you got the, the father with like a big muscular build, and he's got, um, like um, a face with multiple eyes and a thing like a spider very very creepy that a bit right your figure and then you got the red kid so not a daughter I forget which one it was with like a weird um with the little as you crash a spider and curl up and stuff and you see like that um, the face like it the hair is like instantly curl up on like I say and all that it's kind of creepy to look at and then you got the the sister that's uh possessed by a demon who is totally kind of demon to herself so that's kind of fucked up too very uh, inhumanoid, if you will. The thing is that Pokemon, which take horrible concepts and make them into a more kid friendly type thing. Now, this, this franchise does incorporate, a, no, does incorporate um, Western and Eastern. Of, of demon death and you know that kind of stuff. They got but my buddy King over there. They got they got it basically yeah. Just a little ghost kind of ghost with like a chest like that written on and the pre-evolution the pre-evolution of it. Basically, it goes to it that doesn't buy human. And the free uh, tree evolution, Chelsea is pretty much well over with. He could pretty much be a um, uh, ghost fire of any mythology, has, many mythologies have them. But then you've got the um, Next one is, um, Yuritina. Oh, well, one is Yuritina. Yuritina is a giant ghost Pokemon, and he possesses, like, six ribs, six legs, and his one, and six, um, spikes, spikes on his, um, wing. So, in total, that equals six. Six. I'm not going to be for the devil. So we have to put on devil, and then what he has to do a lot equivalent to God. So, got that, you got the put on shit tree, with the big dark grass put on, based on the tiny uh, creature. Which one of the mythology uh a humanoid free spirit with a long roots and a creepy face that um that is meant to you know put the like play tricks on travelers. I don't know if they kill me or not, but it does creepy in itself in the bias in the woods.
and who let you get rid of based on problem with anybody who would do with folklore going for um creatures that that the breath like in them and, and destroy enemies and stuff. Please do not could be useful in World War II, for example. And then you got, um, Medrivalus, or Medrivalus, and Medrivalus, with a ghost type based on with you. Which, no penalty, is obviously a play on the European concept of of witches and then I'm going to do more time to hell comes of hell from the donkeys and colonel a European mythology but then you get into the weird shit that be something to the way we could the transforming witch which is Baba Yaga from Russian mythology. And then you got the. Um, <coughs> then you got the. Three little heights. And then a huge ass creepy baby. And yeah, I'll put a pony whisk the demon, but whatever that's weird too. Of all the being too. But. Then you got uh, the, 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 the weird stuff like the dragons, which, according to my friends from Japan, it's like a romantic fairy tale type thing for young girls over there. They romanticize all of that. But, um, there's all sorts of other Pokemon. I'm sure so you have it called. Frost Pass, which is a ghost and uh, ice type. Now, based on the Yukiona, uh, the Yukiona, which is based on the ice bride, which according to the book here is a ghostly maiden who lures the people who are men to death in, in the, um, you know, in blizzard like situation. It appears to them in blizzards and eat a little bit of death or save, or save them. I find it interesting because we need to. You don't know. With, if you know my history with people with that name, it's not exactly pretty and scripting that they be known as like the ice princess. I love that freaking felt for me for move on to the next uh creepy thing. The next creepy thing is something from the, the movie Yes yeah, Zero. And Yes yeah, Zero is a very interesting and very disturbing m movie in which I think it was um, in the more beautiful dress in like the Cyber suits that go to giant monsters and demons and whatnot. And I just remember being very freaked out by these people that would, you know, these demons that would kill other people, just snapping on their heads and killing them. And I'll not forget this one woman had, like, was very robust. And he tried me for the best way. 
you know. But one of the other women had just a big um a big personality as the other as the other girl. And we they, they had a nightmare view in it and this thing from demons that would be that the in there. One of them was a bit a bit of the old head. Now they um I don't know if they had that in this book. But if I saw a lone head, I would die of me. Oh, I don't want to get away from it. But um, if I saw a lone head, you know what? I'm probably one day. And what more do you think about Pokemon? Um, there's a Pokemon called Mo 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 and it's a steel pipe. It's a steel pipe with a very um um a very uh, mega evolution. And the Pokemon has big mouth on the back of its head. Now in real life it's on a real life Demon, that's a woman that we get in court with a mouth in the back of her head, covered by her hair. This could go back to when, um, when, when women were seen as bad, be, you know, it, it's in the Bible to that Eve could commit a mental disobeying God and stuff. I don't know, they have the equivalent to that in, uh, in, uh, Hinduism, for example, but it's really weird that the Pokemon were based on that creature, where if you get too close to it, it will, it will divide you. It won't even do anything to you, like anything else, it will just eat your soul, eat your body and soul. Um, even though it feels like Dragon Ball Z Pokemon, uh, <clears throat> Avatar, Soul Eater, uh, Demon Flavor, Ngasha, etc., etc., try to make demons and creatures into more of a, into more or less, like, um, friendly and for children and stuff, to consume and things. You know that Japanese mythology is fucked up. Okay, you should have probably put the in China too, and in the other countries as well too, but mostly in Japan. You know, this mentality is fun and it's kind of fucked up too. Does anybody have any comments? You know, with my name, Demonology Books, it's for Japanese mythology and stuff. I really want to know that. But, um, uh, I think you book what you need to do you want. Japanese mythology as well as you and uh, the form of TV show, Pokemon, Technology, etc. etc. I'm sure there are plenty more where that came from. It's a fantastic myth. And, uh, and Tasmania, and, uh, and the other one, um, would check the way, um, helping, helping, you know, helping. Another European based uh, demon or devil, whatever you call mythological creature. So, thanks for watching this. You can comment, share it, subscribe it, and uh, you can share it. my video with others. The video for the Halloween season 2003. Uh, 
some twenty. He said I ain't more suggesting but I ain't more future videos so trunk it I suppose. Let me know it. <clears throat> My number is a six three one seven oh seven three seven oh seven. Trunk it means bike for phone or bike kicking me in my, my um you can get me on Twitter or you can find a Pete Nelson Pro and you can also get me at um <coughs> um JJ's viewing channel at gmail.com so I hope you guys are enjoying my video content. And remember, keep your eye out for anyone you with me. You all know. Because they will definitely send you to a grave. Or they'll be icy towards you. I mean, aloha guys. Have fun with your videos. And yeah, stop it. Interland, Interland, Aloha, and Dubai.